He's Mike Leach, Mississippi State head football coach, who joins us on the program. Good morning, Coach. Congratulations. Did you watch any football over the weekend? Yeah, that's what your producer just asked. Uh, no, I didn't. I uh, entertained myself with uh, my own football. I tried to I, – I, I dented uh, – I had over 1,000 text messages. I dented that and then uh, – and then working on putting together a, a staff and uh, logistically getting things uh, in Starkville. Will you watch the national title game? Uh, that's honestly that's about fifty fifty. Also, <laughs> uh, are you are you rooting for anybody? Are you rooting for LSU since they're in the SEC or Clemson because they're like, not? You know, I want to see. I, I like a good game. I mean, if I watch it in particular. I want a good game that's kind of dynamic, um, you know, where there's some action up and down the field. In other words, uh, good offense. Uh, um, I don't like those rollover ones. And, and also, I don't – I would prefer it's not just kind of a pitching duel type of deal. I'd, I'd like to see some uh, some sparks fly and some, uh, you know, some dynamic plays. So, I guess uh, from that standpoint, very – uh, kind of regular fan like, but uh, I'm not partial to either team really. When you look at offenses now, like what's the next? And you've been on at the forefront of offensive innovation here. What do you think's next when it comes to offense, whether college or the NFL? Um, well, definitely something will be next because, um, you know, stuff, uh, stuff goes in uh, cycles a little bit. I mean, it's a combination of people invent new things, um, but also something that um, worked good. Like, like for example, the wishbone, people put that on the shelf a little bit. Nobody's really stopped it, but, um, you know, it's sort of out of style more than anything. And, um, and it's in, and it is a dynamic offense, I think, but, um, so I, I, I think there's, a, there'll be elements of that and that's hard for me to predict, but I also think, uh, certainly that some of these, uh, air raid concepts that are permeating the NFL and other leagues, I think, uh, I think you'll see, um, it polish up. I think you'll see people kind of put their own, uh, brand on it a little bit. And then, uh, I also think you'll see, um, um, and there's been some of this, you know, um, you know, Oregon did some of this for a while. Um, uh, when, uh, oh, like when Rich Rodriguez was at, uh, Arizona and, uh, well, Clemson first, um, there was some of it, uh, where people start spreading it out to run it. And, um, you know, just as far as, uh, use as much of the field as they can, but to run it. Yeah, I think that I I still maintain you got to be able to run the football when it comes to certainly NFL playoffs. You know, this time of the year, given the weather conditions and just being able to keep these offenses off the field, like what the Titans are do, doing now. It, it's not for everybody because not everybody has a Derrick Henry, but I still believe that I might not be able to match Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes. But I'm going to make you try to, you know, stop my offense as well. And, you know, I, I like the chess match there. I think a lot of these offensive coordinators, head coaches, are probably going, hey, we're going to air it out. Like Golden State in basketball. Hey, we'll just do what they're doing. And not everybody can do it at that high of a level. What do you think of that philosophy? I think it's pretty much true. I don't think it's partial to running or throwing. I think you got to be able to control the football, though. I mean, like, um, you know, the – you know, the West coast offense, which was really popular for a while. I think, I think you have to, um, they threw it most of the time, but I think you do have to, you know, um, when it comes to controlling the football first downs and third down conversions are the important thing. Uh, most people don't realize this, but I've led the nation in uh, time of possession before, which I took virtually no pleasure in whatsoever <laughs> or, or distinction. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, the most important thing of all is points. The greatest form of ball control in the world is points. Um, and anybody that doesn't believe that, um, and there are those that don't, and those that, that don't believe that are idiots, um, which is, uh, uh, I mean, nobody's going to give up points. So, so you score seven points, say, in one play. And, and, and the guy on the other sideline would agree to this, too, in nearly every situation. 
situation. I can't think of any you wouldn't where you go, Hey, look, you know, I was trying to control the ball there. You know, uh, I know you've been there and tried to do that. Hey, what do you say? Um, we take the points off the board and we just go ahead <laughs> and put the ball on the 50 yard line. Would that be okay? I mean, he'd let you every time. Um, because you know, with points you get, um, uh, not only, um, do you get the, 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 the points, you also get the amount of time it takes the other guy to match those points. And then, uh, you're going to get the ball again and can keep it, uh, you know, do what you can to keep it as long as possible. But with that said, overall, I think, uh, um, you want to, you want to, um, first downs, uh, third down conversions and, uh, uh, most plays. That's what you, you're really dominating somebody. If you have the most plays and, and the uh, most first downs and, and good third down conversions, although nobody's going to erase the points on the board, nor should they. He's Mike Leach, the new head coach at Mississippi state. You taught a class at Washington state, uh, insurgent warfare and football. Is that right? Yeah, that was pretty fun. Are you going to do that at Mississippi state? I haven't crossed that bridge just yet. Um, it would be fun to do. Um, we did it during spring, you know, because uh, with recruiting and all that, you got to make sure I'm in town. So, so we actually did it during spring football, and uh, we do it every Wednesday. But had just fantastic guests. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd leave every, um, you know, my portion. That was easy enough because I'd already watched a bunch of film that day, and then, um, you know, but. Uh, you know, had one guy, uh, Mike Bumgartner, uh, who was a state senator there in Washington. Um, he would describe, uh, you know, what insurgent warfare is. And then I, you know, illustrate it uh, with uh, some football uh, examples, like, you know, we're trying to protect this. We've got to attack that, uh, you know, but look out for that. And, you know, just kind of how it would go. And then we, our, our guest speakers were just outstanding. Um, we had... Uh, Jack Thompson, the former, uh, the throwing Samoan the yeah. quarterback from Washington State, he talked, gave a great talk. Uh, we had a, uh, uh, a guy from Homeland Security that was instrumental in, uh, in busting the shoe bomber and the Boston Marathon bombers, uh, guys that had been to Afghanistan and Iraq. We had a Air Force survival specialist. So you'd leave these, this deal with more questions and answers, you know, I mean, because it was really fascinating stuff. And I, we were lucky that we got to host these guys. So um, after class, we could ask them a variety of questions and and uh, learn more about their lives. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was very mentally stimulating as far as uh, what you heard, what you learned. And then uh, and as soon as they left, of course, I thought of 20 questions I wished I'd <laughs> asked, you know. Have you uh, gone to Little Dewey's Barbecue? I haven't heard about it. Uh, they talked about, you know, the broadcasters on uh, TV going there and that uh, that it was big time, and I look forward to doing that. Uh, can you give me the timeline here? How quickly did this happen with Mississippi State? Because it felt like the Giants now reportedly said Joe Judge was probably going to go to Mississippi State, or at least that's what we hear, and then the Giants swooped in and then – decided to make him their next head coach. And then how did that play out time-wise for you? I think that's pretty accurate. Um, like, uh, <clears throat> um, <laughs> somewhere between minutes and hours, you know, uh, <laughs> it, it, it was pretty fast. I mean, wait, so they call like, him and they offer him the job and then, you get a call. I, I don't know on that. I don't know on his part, but um, I do know that they they called me up and they said, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, we'd like to uh, we'd like to to fly in there and talk to you." I said, "All right. Uh, when are you thinking?" He says, "This afternoon." <laughs> I go, "This afternoon." He goes, "Yeah, we got a plane. We could drop in there. We're, you know," and that's pretty much what happened. And then. Um, then a day went by and they flew in again. So, yeah, it, it was quite sudden. It was, uh, you know, uh, uh, a lot of meetings and long meetings out on the deck in Key West. 
And uh, when you're on the private plane to go into Mississippi State, Starkville, did they teach you about the cowbell or were you well aware of the cowbell? Well, I was well aware of the cowbell. There's some distinctions on the cowbell that are very important. Um, one is you can't uh, buy your own cowbell. It has to be given to you. Um, and then um, uh, the second thing is, is when you shake the cowbell, it's very important to hold it over your head uh, to get the most uh, uh, noise out of that cowbell. Cause after all, that's the point. And then um, so with a, a few uh, brief instructions uh, on the plane, uh, I came off that plane ringing the cowbell. <laughs> Well, it should be fun. You and Lane Kiffin and the SEC to go along with all the other characters there. It, uh, I look forward to it, and uh, we appreciate your time, and congratulations again, Coach. Well, he's a fun guy, and it sure seems like a conference where everybody loves everybody, and, <laughs> and you know, and I'm a friendly guy, so we'll see how it goes, you know. Thank you, Coach. That's uh, Mike Leach. He's the new head coach at Mississippi State. Uh, this program brought to you by Mercedes AMG. Be prepared for whatever comes your way. The all-new GT four-door coupe. Because life is a race, visit your local dealership for a test drive today. If you missed any of the celebrity interviews from any week here in the Mercedes AMG Man Cave, go to the Dan Patrick Show app. Watch and listen from inside Mercedes AMG Man Cave. Mercedes AMG driving performance. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.